Hey there, how's it going everybody? Today I'm going to be sharing with you a quick and easy way to create an all-natural rooting hormone or a rooting gel in the comforts of your own home for pennies on the dollar compared to commercially sold products. For today's example, I'm going to be taking some cuttings off of this abundant tree kale here. So using a pair of sanitized and sharp pruners, I'm cutting off about six inches off the growing tips of this plant and I'm just going to take off all the bottom leaves, leaving just a few remaining on top. All right, so now that I got my cuttings, I'm gonna share with you the first way to create a rooting hormone. This is best done with fresh green growth tip cuttings rather than hardwood cuttings. But with both of these methods, I'm gonna be utilizing the same ingredient here of this organic liquid kelp. So kelp is a seaweed loaded with trace minerals. It's a natural growth hormone, has amino acids, tons of micronutrients, so for this recipe, I'm going to be mixing one part liquid kelp to four parts water. And that's it. I'm just using this solution now in place of plain water. This is going to help feed nutrients to the plant. It should stimulate a quicker root development. And with many plants that will actually root in just plain water, you can just leave it right in the solution until you see the roots forming. You should have a much more vigorous root system and a much more resilient plant in the end. Alternatively, in the way that I use this solution, is I'm just going to let these cuttings sit in here for 12-24 hours before I plant them in some soil. That's going to allow these cuttings adequate time to wick up all those nutrients out of the solution and help to feed the plant and give it a really good jump start before I plant this in a nice quality organic potting mix. And there you have it. You got yourself an all-natural do-it-yourself rooting hormone. Only took a couple seconds. Alright, so the next method I'll be sharing with you here is how to create a rooting hormone gel using the same liquid mixture here of one part liquid kelp to four parts water. And then to thicken this up, I'm going to be adding in some of the psyllium husk. Alternatively, you can create the same results using a product like this arrowroot, which is often used as a thickening agent in cooking. So we've got a half cup of liquid solution here, and I'm going to be adding in about two tablespoons of the psyllium husk. Now you'll see just how quickly this thickens up. This is going to continue to thicken up over the next few minutes. So with this product, you really want to make it as you need it instead of making a whole bunch of it and storing it as it will continue to get more solidified over time. And just like you would with a commercial rooting gel, you're just going to dip the cutting in and glob it on the end like so. And the first thing I'm going to do is make an indention in the soil here that way, as I slide the cutting in, the rooting hormone is going to actually stay on the cutting. And that's it. That's all there is to it, folks. So by employing this technique, what I'm aiming to do is create a more developed root system even quicker on this cutting, and also a more established and resilient plant in the future as I've given this plant a great jump start by offering it the nutrients that it needs and the natural plant growth hormone. Well, that's it for now, everybody. Thanks for watching, and as always, I hope this video finds you and finds you well. Take care, everybody. I'll be talking to you again soon.